Oh, hey everybody, how's it going? Gunman here from Nashville, Tennessee. Hope you're having a great day. Look at this beauty. It's amazing. Uh, I'm not talking about me, of course. I'm talking about the backyard. It's a beautiful, beautiful day here in Nashville, Tennessee. I hope wherever you are, whatever you're doing, you're having a great day. And I'm gonna make this short, sweet, to the point. Uh, I, I look like I was up all night solving a murder for a very good reason. I've been in the studio with our new Firstborn Sons project. I'm so excited about it. And I'm happy to report it's going even better than expected. You guys are gonna love this. So uh, I want to, on that note, kind of keep this short and sweet today. Uh, I want to actually talk about a concept that is very important to my heart and close to the heart of every single Nelson that has come before me. And it is the concept of ice cream therapy. Yes, I said ice cream therapy, especially in the day and age that we find ourselves in. I always like to bring you the uplifting, the positive side of life, especially with this absolute craziness that's going on out there and this fear mongering that I'm seeing. It is depressing if you get into it. And sometimes when I'm feeling incredibly depressed, I'm gonna tell you what, there is nothing in the world that makes me feel better than a scoop of ice cream. And that's what I'm gonna indulge in today. Matthew just called me, he and Ozzy are at Baskin Robbins. They're uh, picking up a scoop of chocolate peanut butter and oh yes, life is gonna be so much better after that. I highly recommend it. Did you know that the, the ice cream scoop that was used on the Ozzy and Harriet show for all of those years, 435 episodes, is actually in the Smithsonian under glass right now. Now, it was actually pretty cool too, because if you think about the black and white TV that they were filming, you see back then, you know, the set lights were very, very hot. Ozzie Nelson loved his ice cream so much that he absolutely refused to do what everybody else in black and white television and movies were doing when they had a scene that involved someone sitting down at a table and eating ice cream. Most of those people would actually eat mashed potatoes because it didn't melt under the ice. Ozzie wouldn't hear of that. He actually converted one of the dressing rooms at stage five into a walk-in ice cream freezer. Now that's dedication. So on that note, no matter what, no matter what you're seeing on TV, hearing on the radio, hearing from your friends, I promise you the sky is not falling. If you're hearing anything otherwise, it's complete and total BS. And all things today are gonna be solved with a delicious scoop of ice cream. I highly recommend it. I want a full report from you tomorrow. And until then, have an awesome day. I love you. Take care.